Isaiah chapter 58. Let's read from verse, let's read two verse, three verses, 8, 9, and 11. And we are all reading together. Shall we go? Then shall thy light, one, two, three, go. Then shall my light break forth as the morning, and my head shall spring forth speedily, and my righteousness shall go before me. The glory of the Lord shall be my real reward. Let's read verse 9. Then I will call, and the Lord will answer me. I will cry, and he will say, Here he is. If thou take away from the means of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. Let's go to verse 11 now. It's a prophecy, so please say it loud and clear. And the Lord shall guide me continually, and satisfy my soul in droughts, and make fat my bones. And I shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water. Whose waters fail not? Whose prophecy is that? Whose testimony is that? Say, my light will break forth as the light of the morning. The Lord will guide me continually. Please, let's have that verse 11 on the screen and we are praying. It's a prophecy over all our lives and families represented here. So, before you rise to your, your feet, just let me prophesy over the life of somebody seated beside you. And say you, the Lord will guide you continually. If that person is not opening mouth, use your wisdom to look for somebody who is opening mouth to pray for you. Amen. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Say, and the Lord shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in droughts. And make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water, whose waters fail not, say the Lord will satisfy you. In this economy, your life will not go down. Your family will not go down. In the name of Jesus, receive wisdom to navigate this season. You are praying for the person. Say receive wisdom to navigate this season. In the name of Jesus, you will be like a watered garden. In the name of Jesus, everything you lay your hands upon will prosper. Nothing will fail in your hand. You are praying. Say, nothing will fail in your hand. There will be increase all around you. There will be expansion. There will be progress in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The last one will rise to praise. Psalm 50 verse 3. Please, let's have it on the screen. We all rise up to claim it. Psalm 50, verse 3. We are waiting. Shall we all read it together? Our God shall come to our aid. Amen. Let's rise. Thank you for people who are rising already. You are rising up. You will never go down. Lord, who called Jesus. Shall we read it now from the beginning? Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. The part I want us to pray is to tell the person beside you, the Lord will come to your head. The Lord will show up for you. He will not keep silence concerning your case. In the name of Jesus, now open your mouth and pray for the person. The Lord will come through for you. He will show up for you. He will come to your head. He will rescue you from shame. In the name of Jesus. He will rescue you from any form of shame. In the name of Jesus. He will not keep silence. Heaven will not be silent because of you. You will hear voice of, from heaven and testimony will follow. The Lord will rend the heaven, He will rend the earth for your sake. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy of the Lord will speak for you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's read verse 4. Let's read verse 4. Psalm 50, verse 4. Psalm 50, verse 4. 
Now you want to pray for yourself. You tell God, Daddy, make me stronger than situations around me. Make me stronger. We have people, small things, they break down completely. And then when a life is shattered, you are on the ground. You cannot even, you can't be creative in that state. I'm telling you. You can't even think clearly in that state. And that's why when people are down, seriously, they become vulnerable. People can take advantage of their vulnerability at that point in time. But when you are strong, even when things are happening, you are saying, like that woman, the woman that uh, Elijah prayed for. Elijah prayed for that had a baby. And the baby died. And she was my woman. And the only thing she was saying is, it is well. Omoku, the answer for it is well. Because she did not see a dead child. She was seeing a living child. So because of that strength within, it's cumulated to testimony outside. If, you're, if, you, if you faint in the day of uh, uh, adversity, your strength is small. I want you to pray to God. Do like this. Lord, strengthen me in the enema. Make me stronger than any circumstance around me. Lika kulika sandaya. Pray it very well. I receive strength in my hinama. I receive strength from within. Lika ku sandaya. Makulika sandaya. Anything that easily besets me, I rise above you. I'm strengthened beyond circumstances. In the name of Jesus. I am strengthened. Somebody say I am strengthened. Say it very well. Leke teke le mo shanda yana mama mama. Yeka tumbra koshende le bobo. Makuli kasanda ya. I am strengthened. I am strengthened. I am strengthened. Nothing weakens me. Hey, nothing will weaken me. Le zeke teke le bobo shanda yaba. Nothing will weaken me. Nothing will weaken me. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. And so our Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, because we have received strength. We have received wisdom. And as you go into the wisdom clinic, we pray that you will minister to us in Jesus' name. We are all covered with the blood of Jesus. No matter the situation in the world, in our nation, we connect with your grace. And we will not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Let me greet somebody by your left and by your right and say, Welcome to this edition of Mega Marriage Summit. I see you rising. I see you rising. And I see strength in you. You are not a weakling, you are strengthened. Amen.